Hi to all, welcome to my class number 1st of chapter 2 fractions and decimals of class 7. In this class, I am just going to give some introduction of fractions and exercise 2.1. Look at the figure. Here I made a circle into 8 equal parts. Here I have shaded three parts of it. How will you represent the shaded po portion? Yes, it is 3 by 8. Here, 3 is called numerator and 8 is called the denominator. In 3 by 8, numerator is less than the denominator. Such fractions we can call it as proper fraction. Consider another fr fraction 9 by 5. Here you see the numerator is greater than the denominator. Such fractions we can call it as improper fraction. Now let me take another type of fraction. It is 1, 2 by 3. There is a whole number and a proper fraction. This type of fraction we can call it as mixed fraction. Let me take a fraction 3 by 7. Now multiply both numerator and denominator by a number 5. What will you get? You get 3 into 5, 15 by 7 into 5, 35. Now this 3 by 7 and 15 by 37 are equal fractions. So the, we can call it as equivalent fractions. Now 15 by 35 is an equivalent fraction of 3 by 7. You will get as many as you want by multiplying same number to both numerator and denominator. You learned addition and subtraction in class 6. Now, let us have a recap on it. Add, add 3 by 4 and 2 by 3. For that, first find out the LCM of 4 and 3. LCM of 4 and 3, you know, it is 12. So, take 12 as common denominator. Now, check how many times the denominator 4 goes to 12. You know 4 into 3 is 12. So multiply that 3 with the numerator. Then we get 3 into 3. Now plus how many times 3 goes to 12? 3 4s are 12. So multiply 4 with the numerator 2 we get 2 into 4 now simplify you get 3 3s are 9 2 4s are 8 so it is numerator is 9 plus 8 divided by 12 and the answer is 17 by 12 the same way we can subtract also suppose you want to find out 5 minus 2 by 7. 5 you can write it as 5 by 1. So 5 minus 2 by 7 you can write it as 5 by 1 minus 2 by 7. Here 1 and 7 the LCM is 7. So you can write 7 as common denominator. Now 1 in 7, 7 times. So, numerator will be 5 into 7. Then, minus. Now, 7, 7, 1 time. 7, 1 are 7. So, the numerator is 2. Multiply 1 with the 2. That is, 5 into 7 minus 2 into 1 by 7 and Simplifying you get 
35 minus 2 by 7 and the answer is 33 by 7. The same 5 into 7 minus 2 into 1 by 7 you will get from the question itself. If you multiply 7 into 5 first and minus 2 and take 7 as denominator then also you will get the answer this this 3 35 minus 2 by 7 you can directly get from this question that is 5 into 7 35 minus 2 divided by 7 this way also directly also you can find out the answer in this case how will you add 2 2 by 3 plus 1 1 by 5 first change the, this mixed fraction into improper fraction that is 2 2 by 3 you can write it as 2 into 3 plus 2 divided by 3 that is you multiply the whole number with the denominator and plus the numerators that is 2 into 3 plus 2 this 8 by 3 and here 1 into 5 plus 1 that is 6 divided by 5 now you can add 8 by 3 and 6, 6 by 5 here LCM is equal to 15 therefore that is 8 into 5 so 15 3 5s are 15 so 8 into 5 5 3 15 so 6 into 3 divided by 15 otherwise also here also you can use cross multiplication since there is no common factor in 3 and 5 you can multiply in this way 5 into 8 that is 8 into 5 then 6 into 3 in this way and divided by 3 into 5 then also you can get the answer instead of taking LC that is 40 plus 18 by 15 that is 58 by 15 that you can change it as 3 13 by 15 here you have exercise 2.1 the same type of questions try to find it here is the answer for those questions do check yourself this is the second question arrange the following in descending order descending order means first the biggest number you have to write then smaller than that and that way you have to arrange it look at the first question 2 by 9 2 by 3 8 by 21 you know 9 3 21 are the denominators the first step is you make these denominators equal for that find out the LCM of 9 3 and 21 you know the LCM of 9 3 and 21 you will get it as 63 now 2 by 9 you make denominator 63 to make 63 you have to multiply 9 7's 9 7's are 63 so you multiply 2 by 7 in for the numerator that is 2 by 2 into 7, 14 by 16. Now similarly, 2 by 3 also you make the denominator 63 and 8 by 21 also you change the denominator into 63. So you get 2 by 3 is equal to 2 into 21 by 63 that is 42 by 63 and 8 by 21 you will get 8 into 3 by 63 that is 24 by 63 now look at the numerator which one is greater here 42 is greater than the others so biggest number is 42 by 63 so you can write it is 2 by 3 then 24 so 28 by 21 then 42 by 9 so we can arrange it as 
2 by 3, 8 by 21 and 2 by 9. Here you have to check the given numbers in the square is a magic square or not. Look at here. For a magic square, you have to multiply. Sorry, you have to add all this in row ways. That is 4 by 11 plus 9 by 11 plus 2 by 11. That it is given, it is as 15 by 11. Now you second, you add these three. And third, you have to add this one. 8 by 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 6 by 11. Now, you have to add column base. That is 4 by 11 plus 3 by 11 plus 8 by 11. Find out the answer. Since denominators are equal, simply add numerator and put the same denominator. Second, this you add it and this. So, six ways you added so far. Now, you add in this way. 4 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 6 by 11. You add it and find out the answer. Similarly, 2 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 8 by 11. So, total 6 plus 2, 8 ways you have to add. And if you are getting the same answer in all the case, you can say this is a magic square. Next question is, a rectangular sheet of paper 12 1 by 2 centimeter long and 10 2 by 3 centimeter wide. Find its perimeter. The perimeter of a rectangle, you know, it is 2 into length plus breadth. Length is given as 12 1 by 2 centimeter and breadth is given as 10 2 by 3 centimeter. Now 2 into 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2, 2 by 3. 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3 you do it first then you multiply by 2 you will get the answer. The remaining questions we can discuss in the next class. So do all these questions. You can tap the photo for subscription and you can watch more videos also. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.